welcome to the first edition of Ask Boone. This is from Mel in Kansas. How can we get wind and solar power going when everyone says we don't want it in our backyard? That's easy, Mel. Everybody does want it in their backyard that I've talked to. I've signed up over 300,000 acres of, of uh, uh, sites for wind turbines in the Panhandle of Texas. So when you go up through the corridor, the wind corridor, you'll find that the landowners uh, want the turbines because they create income for them. Okay, let's go to Tom in Rochester Hills. Why is it necessary for you to get people to join and buy into your plan? Uh, I've got to have numbers. Uh, I can build a wind farm by myself, but to, to accomplish a energy plan for America, the first one they've ever had, we're gonna have to have everybody buy into the plan. Okay, Dan Turkovich. How are we going to get companies to convert over to natural gas stations? Uh, that's going to happen because one, natural gas will probably be at about uh, half to two-thirds the price of gasoline and diesel. If you look at what Aubrey McLennan says, the CEO of Chesapeake, he says do 25,000 stations that exist right now but, but put an island in them for natural gas and uh, that would cost about 400,000 in uh, in compressors and island uh, uh, redesign. So that would be uh, $10 billion, which is a very insignificant $10 billion compared to the $700 billion that we have uh, going out of the country now. Uh, Sam Johnson, how would I go about starting a natural gas station in Orlando, Florida? Uh, you, you don't want to start a natural gas station until you have customers for it. I always call it preloading the station. You find a fleet that would uh, fuel with you, and then you can, you can do the station. But let a little bit of time unfold here and be for sure that we're gonna have uh, some kind of indication how many people will convert. William L. Garcia, how will lower income families transition off of gasoline and diesel? We're gonna, we're gonna get a better look at this. <clears throat> get, give us a little time. You may be surprised at, at what we may be able to buy these cars for. In California, you get a rebate on a natural gas vehicle. So it's, uh, I, I wouldn't be surprised that wouldn't happen all the way across the United States. Uh, John Times, how would your plan be funded and what are the tax situations? And I think private industry funds it, uh, basically, but two, um, the tax situation, you need a production tax credit. And that's already in place. Congress just needs to extend it. And I think that'll be done before the first of the year. Jennifer Manwaring in Indiana, I would like to invest in this company if it is offered as stock. Will I be able to? We don't have anything at this point. Sometime we may, but, uh, but not now. But there are other wind opportunities to invest in. Mr. Sullivan in Twin Falls, Idaho, although Mr. Gore's motivation is global warming, and yours is reducing foreign oil, but, but many of your solutions seem to be similar. Does that increase the chances for your plan to be adopted? Uh, my plan could be changed, and anybody that comes up with a better idea than I have, I promise you uh, that what I'm doing is the best, what I'm trying to do is the best for America. If somebody comes up with a better plan, I'll switch over to their plan. But Al Gore and I are in communication, and we do have uh, uh, similar ideas uh, for helping the country. But he is working on global warming and I'm working on uh, getting the $700 billion uh, cost of imported oil down. I'm going to sign off and know you'll be back in touch with me very shortly. Thank you.